Post-trib moment number 42. Here the little liar goes back to his old argument that he just keeps beating to death. The word tribulation appears for Christians, so it must prove that we go through the tribulation. <sighs> Let's play a little bit of this nonsense. I strongly recommend anyone who believes in the pre-trib rapture to just look up all 22 times that the word tribulation is used in the New Testament. It's so obvious once you do that. That, uh, that the preacher rapture is a false doctrine. How is it obvious? It's so ridiculous. He keeps going back to the same argument. The Bible never says that this time period that's coming is the Great Tribulation or the Tribulation. Tribulation is a description. It is not a title. And this stupid little liar can't seem to get that through his thick skull. I mean, there's... Uh, what more can you say? I mean, it's, it's so ridiculous. He keeps going back to the same thing over and over and over again. Christians have trouble. Christians have tribulation in their life. Yes, from who? Is it God that's pouring it out on them, or is it the lost world? You see? It's God that pours out judgment and wrath in the time of Jacob's trouble. The whole way through. Revelation 6, the whole way through up. You know, up up through there. Excuse me, not through up. <laughs> up through. Read it. It's the Lord Jesus Christ opening the seals. It's incredible. This guy is so ignorant of Scripture. But in this passage, he says the purpose of us going through tribulations or trials or afflictions or sufferings, part of that purpose is that we will be able to comfort others who are going through uh, trials and tribulations and, and struggles and suffering. And, and God is explaining that when we go through hard things, then we're able to comfort those and help those who are also going through hard things. Now, now if that's the tribulation there as a reference to the coming seven-year tribulation or three-and-a-half-year or whatever this little liar teaches, uh, how does that work? Um, would that not have been true then for people, Christians the whole way back through? See, it doesn't work. The tribulations that that are, you know, you're warned about as a Christian come from the lost world. It's just a, it's it's situations that come and they attack you and and persecute you. It's not a reference to a seven year, or whatever time period this liar teaches, time of, you know, tribulation from the lost world. That's nonsense. Is this passage talking about the Great Tribulation at the end of the world? No, it's not. But it still helps demonstrate what the word tribulation means. And he just lied again. Is it talking about the Great Tribulation? No, it's not. The Great Tribulation is not a Bible word. That is not a Bible phrase. That does not appear in Scripture. He keeps saying that it's a title of this time period that's coming. He is such a liar.